Hey friends, Shoujo Boy 1024 again, and I'm back with another fun video. I recently just recorded myself actually doing another video where I read this off to you, and because I felt it was appropriate to just read off a little bit more, and these are going to be two separate videos, obviously, and they will be separate. Again, obviously, I don't know why I'm saying the obvious. But anyway, the first one had me reading all of chapter one of this book from my Buddhist group, the Soka Gekkai International. And now I felt like reading chapter two to all of you as well, because once again, it is very enlightening and very eye-opening, in case you just needed something like that. And once again, I am not here to make any of you change your minds and just start studying Nichiren Buddhism and become members of the Soka Gekkai International, or SGI for short. It's just me sharing the experience with all of you and hopefully opening your eyes and enlightening you to certain things that maybe you just didn't think about, or you just need an extra boost because you're probably having a hard time with stuff. We've all been there, and that's what I'm here for. I'm also here to help you out with that. So, <clears throat> with all of that said and done, let me just go ahead and just read from this book here. The title is, once again, SGI USA Young Men's Division Academy Study Guide. And here it is for chapter two. Chapter two, daily life. Career, working harder than anyone else. Shinichi Yamamoto, Ikeda Sensei's character in the Human Revolution speaks with members supporting a convention in, a, oh wait, in Hawaii. He asks this one man, a car salesman from Los Angeles about his work. Yes, I worked extra hard so that I could take a time off of work to come here and serve as a support staff for this Hawaii convention. For the last half year, I was, to, I was the top salesman on the lot. I see, Shinichi said. You really exerted yourself. That's important. There, there are many reasons for events like, the, like this and other Soka Gekkai activities. But from the perspective of the individual, they provide opportunities to challenge, polish, and strengthen ourselves to carry out our human revolution. Precisely because of our Buddhist faith and practice, and because we're busy, we need to work with even greater efe efficiency and do a good job. By rising to that challenge, we can become better people. That's why Soka Gekkai activities and events are opportunities to polish ourselves as human beings. While he was asking the members about their jobs, Shinichi approached one young man who had quit his job to help prepare for the convention. The young man said that with, the young man said with a dissatisfied expression that pay wasn't very good and they didn't recognize my abilities. My bosses said I had that I had a bad work attitude and complained about me all the time. I'm convinced that I will be able to enter a better job through the benefits gained from chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo very hard and doing my best here at the convention. Shinichi's face clouded over. He knew he had to tell this young man the true meaning of faith. Maybe you should, maybe you had good reasons to quit your job. But your attitude is wrong. Of course, it's important to chant and do your best in Soka Gekkai activities. But if you only focus on, but if you focus only on your Buddhist practice without making an honest effort at your workplace, you're just uh, escaping from reality. So long as you have the attitude, the results will be the same no matter where you work. Mr. Toda used to say, "In faith, do the work. Do the work of one." in your job, but do the work of three. That's the life of, that's the way of life for Soka Gekkai members. As Nichiren Daishonin writes, regard your service to your Lord as the practice of the Lotus Sutra. In other words, regard your work as your practice of the Lotus Sutra and throw yourself into, into it wholeheartedly. When you strive to become the best person in your workplace and win the trust of your employer and, and fellow employees, while at the same time making an earnest effort to practice Buddhism, you'll grow as a person. That's what I did. I worked until midnight, day after day, to keep Mr. Toda's business running. 
Shinichi didn't want members to lab absent into an easygoing, mistaken view of their faith. Nichiren Buddhism is a philosophy of human revolution, and it provides a practice of for forging and polishing our lives so that we can be strong and wise, so that we can rise to every challenge that life presents and triumph over it. Shinichi then asked the young man, do you happen to be a good swimmer? No, not really. Let's imagine you are going to take part in a swim meet. What would you need to do to win? Well, if I wanted to win in a swim meet, the first thing I'd have to do is practice very hard. Nodding, Shinichi said, and then? Then I'd have to do things like study the most effective ways to train and come up with various strategies. I'd also chant, of course, and pray to win. Now that's the right attitude. You'll never win a swim meet just through your Buddhist practice. Buddhism is reason. A Buddhist doesn't simply pray to win without making any effort. If that was Buddhism, it would only teach people to be lazy and corrupt. The youth looked at Shinichi intently and listened carefully. As a Soka Gekkai member, Shinichi continued. Oh wait, as a member of so yeah, as a Soka Gekkai member, Shinichi continued. You need to work harder than anyone else at your job, and to become as efficient and productive as possible. Study and think hard. Faith and prayer enable us to, be, to bring forth a strong life force and the necessary wisdom to succeed in that endeavor. Every job, a, every job demands not only work, hard work, but also presents a variety of other challenges such as difficulties with the relationships a difficulty with relationships but your job is a place where you can polish and perfect and perfect yourself as a person it's very important to give it your full effort become the, the top performer the top performer in your workplace and win the trust of those around you this will improve your performance and reputation, and you'll earn a raise in salary. And if that were or to occur, you would regard your workplace as the most optimum. Each morning, you should pray the determination, you should pray with determination to do your, your best at your job. That day, become a victor in your workplace and demonstrate the power of your Buddhist faith. That's the key to fulfilling, to fully manifesting your greatest strength and wisdom. When you find a job, please adopt that attitude. Do your best and become a victor in the workplace. That's the Soka Gekkai spirit. Regard our works as the practice of Buddhism. Shinichi speaks with Soka Gekkai members striving on the front, lines of society as business professionals. We, as Ichiren Daishonin's disciples, must also be society's pillars, eyes, and ships. I want all of you to do your best based on that awareness in your respective workplaces. For example, even if you're a new employee or not in a very important position, never lose the feeling of commitment to protecting your, your company, making it grow and bring joy to those around you. That's the Buddhist attitude and the Sokka Gekkai spirit. You can't do good work if you look at your job as a temporary thing and think you're not important to your company's success. Mr. Toda used to say, if all one cares about is collecting a paycheck, they're just a, a parasite. To be deserving of a paycheck, it is necessary to support the company by working hard. He also said in faith, do the work of one. In your job, do the work of three. That is the behavior of a genuine Soka Gakkai member. The Daishonin writes, regard your service to your Lord as the practice of the Lotus Sutra. His message is what we should regard our work as the practice of our Buddhist faith and rise to its challenges in that spirit. It is important that in our jobs we apply the Soka Gekkai spirit and our experiences in faith of making the impossible possible so that we can break through any barriers that limit progress. Become indispensable where we are. Jose Toda offered the advi this advice to young people who were struggling with regard to their work. There are three criteria for selecting a job. Beauty, benefit, and good. Everyone's ideal is to get a job they like, 
beauty that is financially secure, benefit, and where they, it can contribute to society, good. But the real world is not always that accommodating. Very few people find the job of their dreams from the very beginning. In most cases, we have to do work that we never expected to, we would do. For example, our job may provide us a secure livelihood and contribute to society, but isn't something we enjoy or really suits us in suits us temporarily. Yeah, no wait. Suits us temperamentally. Okay, there we go. Goodness, some of these words, I swear, people. <laughs> It provides benefit and good, but not beauty. Or we may have a good, or we may have a job that we enjoy and contributes to society, but it may also, but it may not provide with us. And uh, yeah, let me start from the beginning on that one. Or we may have a job that we enjoy and contributes to society, but it may not provide us with enough money to support our lot, but to support ourselves. It has beauty and good, but not benefit. Or our job may pay extremely well and be enjoyable, but have a negative effect on society. It has benefit and beauty, but not good. As we can see, it can actually be quite difficult to attain all three values of beauty, benefit, and good. In the, the today's trying economic times, in particular, it is interestingly difficult to find a job at all. What should we do then? Mr. Toda advised. In times of in times such as these, young people should not be discouraged. Just put all your energy into your present job and can become an indispensable per person there. By chanting earnestly to the Gohanzon and continuing to strive your hardest, not letting disagreeable tasks or assignments deter you, you will eventually find a job that you enjoy offers financial security and produces good for society. This is the benefit of faith, and that's not all. When you look back at your, at your less than satisfactory jobs, you'll find that none of your hard work was wasted, but that it has all become a valuable asset for you. You'll come to understand that everything had meaning. I can assure you who of this from any uh, I can assure you of this from my own experience. Our faith is expressed in our lives and in society. That is the power of Buddhism. Have inner strength in common sense. For those who just cannot decide what kind of work you would like to do, why not start with a job that you can, easily, you can get easily, something you are familiar with? That way you can gain the practical experience and find out what you're good at. Many young people may be under the impression that it is better to work for a large corporation or a government agency than for a small, unexciting business. But often, this is not the case. There are so many things that there are so many things you just don't won't understand until you actually start working. Plus, there are as many kinds of com companies as there are people. Therefore, it is important to have the inner strength and common sense to learn everything you can where you are, to develop the uh, means by which uh, to support yourselves, to, so to pursue substance rather than the ephemeral, and to explore the depths of your potential. It is vital that you become irreplaceable wherever you are. Morning is decisive. Morning is decisive. It is the key to a successful day. Jose Toda used to say, A person who arrives at work late and is scolded by the boss will never amount to anything. The new employees, especially in the interest of earning trust and credibility in the workplace, should come into work earlier than anyone else. Morning Gongyu and Daimoku, Chanti Namiyo Rengekyo, Awakens our life so that we can win in the day ahead. Mr. Toda taught that it is important for us, as practitioners of Nichiren Buddhism, to get the day off to a successful start and lead, in, and lead a victorious life. Relationships. What is love? Ikeda Sensei speaks with high school students curious about pursuing or avoiding romance. Sensei states that pursuing romance is a matter of personal choice. However, he stresses the importance of not losing sight of pursuing one's personal development. 
The true purpose of your studies and participation in club or team activities is to build a foundation for a strong, for a strong self. Your problems, too, be they a lack of self-confidence or a strained relationship with a friend, enable you to construct solid, a solid core. The same can be said about love. It, is, it should be a force that helps you expand your lives and bring forth your innate potential with fresh and dynamic vitality. Excuse me. That is the ideal, but as the saying, love is blind, illustrates, people often lose all object, objectivity when they fall in love. If the relationship you're in is causing your parents to worry or make you neglect your studies or engage in destructive behavior, then you and the person you're seeing are only being a negative, a negative influence and hindrance to, to each other. Neither of you will be happy if you both end up hurting each other. The question is, does the person you like inspire you to work harder at your studies or distant or distract you from them? Does your presence and make you more make you more de or does her presence make you more determined to devote greater energies to school activities be a better friend a more thoughtful son or daughter does he inspire you to realize your future goals and work to achieve them or is that person your central focus overshadowing all else your school activities your friends and family and even your goals? If you are neglecting the things you should be doing, forgetting your purpose in life because of the relationship you're in, then you're on the wrong path. A healthy relationship is one which two people encourage each other to reach their respective goals while sharing each other's hopes and dreams. A relationship should be a source of inspiration, invigoration, and hope. Working on polishing yourself first. I personally want to see men be extremely courteous and caring toward women. Men should always remember to respect women doing their utmost to support them. Rather than depending on women like children, men the women, the women like children, men should become strong enough, compassionate enough, and adult enough to care about the lifelong happiness of their partners as their top priority. This is the quality men must strive to cultivate. It is also an expression of true love. To the young men, I say, please think when the time comes for you to become a parent and have a daughter of your own, if you were to fall in love, how would you like, uh, like to see her treated? If you cannot imagine this kind of scenario, then you are not yet qualified for love. As for, for those uh, who are concerned about their friend's well-being, the best thing is to chat Namiya Hodenge Kyo and be there for them. I think it's important for everyone to have at least one person with whom they can talk about anything. In matters concerning love, it is to your benefit to accept that you are not necessarily the best judge of, of your situation and have the wisdom to turn to others for their objective opinions and advice. It's fine to keep some things uh, to yourselves, but please remember that sometimes secrets may hurt you. I am especially concerned about those who have closed themselves off from their friends. No matter how much you may appear to be enjoying yourselves now, or how serious you think you are about, about your relationship, if you allow your love life to consume all your time and energy to the, determine, to the, de, to the detriment of your growth, then you're just playing a game, and if you're always playing games, then your life will be just that, a game. Regardless of how large a number is, if multiplied by zero, it will inevitably come to zero. To have a relationship that wipes out the value in your life is truly sad. Never allow yourself to be defeated by love. I'm quite sure a few among you have had your hearts broken or been badly hurt and perhaps felt unable to go on. Your self-esteem in taters, but you must never believe that you are worthless. There is no substitute for you. Who are more precious than all the treasures in the universe? No matter what your present circumstances, I think all of you as my irreplaceable sons and daughters, and how I have the greatest expectation that you will overcome all obstacles and rise out of any suffering and despair. It is crucial that you become strong if you are strong, even your sadness will become a source of nourishment. 
and the things that make you suffer will purify a lot, will purify your lives. Only when we experience the crushing, painful depths of, suf of suffering, we can begin to understand the true meaning of life. Precisely because we have experienced great suffering, it is imperative that we go on living. The important thing to the important thing is to keep working forward. To each of you, yeah. Oh wait, if each of you uses your sadness as a source of growth. You will become a person of greater depth and braid and braideth and even more wonderful you. This is the harvest of your pain and suffering. Hold your head high because you have lived with all your might. You are victors. You must not sink into depression or take a path that leads to self-destruction. Whether we are happy, sad, or suffering, if we chant honestly to the Gohansan with the feelings in our hearts, our lives will naturally proceed in the best direction. People have the freedom to live as they choose, and each person's character is different. Nevertheless, I think it's a shame to spend your youth constantly chasing romantic relationships. Finances. True success means enjoying an unrestrained state of life. Nichiren Daishonin concludes his teaching. Nichiren and his followers who chant nam myoho renge kyo are the people of great virtue and influence, of whom the sutra speaks, who have gained the supreme cluster of jewels, then grew when they least expect it. Therefore, you have, or you who have embraced this great law are wealthy people rich in the life force who possesses good fortune and surpassing the wealth of, our, of even the world's richest people. Material possessions cannot be enjoyed after death. But wealthy people rich in life force are able to freely make uh, use of the treasures of the universe in lifetime after lifetime and enjoy a journey of eternal happiness. That is what constitutes proof of true victory in life. Warning against borrowing money from members. Under the leadership of second Soka Gekai president Jose Toda, the Soka Gekai grew rapidly. Mr. Toda thought carefully about what might inhibit this growth, oath, and warm of the member and harm the members of faith. Jose Toda knew that if there were there was anything that could obstruct the steady, the steady growth, it would rise not from without but from within the organization. He gave a detailed warning to this effect at the February headquarters lead, leaders meeting. Toda also knew that some members made loans among themselves from unwholesome motives. These transactions often led to trouble, adversely affecting the faith of those concerned. Some of them were actually suffering terribly as a result. Engaging in such practices, Toda thought in indignantly, I hope I pronounced that right, was taking advantage of faith for evil purposes. He had, for some time, continued to caution members against this. Even so, obscured by the rapid growth of the organization, several flagrant violations of his warning had occurred. Money and power are what counts in this world. Toto told his audience at the headquarters leaders meeting, that's why people lend or borrow money and end up resenting each other. I am not saying that this is absolutely wrong to make loans. I am only warning against borrowing money from your members by using your position as a district leader or group um, or group leader of the Soka Gekai. I am the district leader and you are my group leader. I need money so it is your duty to lend me some. How can they? How can any leader have the gall to say such a thing? Under no circumstance must you take advantage of your position at the organization or borrow money from your members. Neither should you lord it over them because of your position. The members of the Soka Gekai must base all of their actions on faith and faith alone. Now, there's obviously more to it in that for this chapter, but I don't want to end up reading too much and everything like I did in the last one. I 
Thought I'd just keep this one a little bit more brief, but either way, I hope I got a certain message out to you all, and remember to keep some of those words in mind when you're dealing with your daily life and everything. To not always just too, be too upset with your own negative feelings and everything, because as I just said, there's no replacing any of us. If you are so precious to somebody out there, okay, don't try to doubt yourself and everything, and try not to get too carried away on certain things either, okay? That's just never gonna work out, all right? So, anyway, I am Shoujo Boy 1024 again. Look forward to some more of my videos, and remember, art is magic. Take care, everybody!